Hey, what's up, guys? In today's video, we're gonna be doing another course to 6.2. I might not have as much energy today because I have a headache, but we're gonna be doing the last path in this quest. There was a few quests I did off camera because they were kind of boring, but the quest, uh, the team we're gonna be running here is six star Corvus. Okay, I didn't mean to do that. Six star Corvus, five star Captain Infinity War. He's gonna be kind of like heavy lifting this quest. And then these two tech guys teach you to do the tech path. Uh, Captain, I mean, if anyone might be used for one fight, honestly, he does. But I'm using uh, the tech or the cosmics and the techs for Captain America's petrifying armor break for the lane. And then, yeah, let's just see. And then I'm bringing Archangel for because I think Captain America I need to use for the entire lane. He's like the only character I think I could use right now, or the best I could think of. And. Archangel, Archangel can one shot the boss, so yeah. So the lane is basically um, Sabretooth, Emma Frost, uh, Omega Red, Magneto, and then this Mr. Sinister. And he can handle every single fight. But basically, why I wanted to bring him was it's 50% buffet. But then Emma Frost needs an armor break to get like her in if I want to parry. So I brought this team, and I think he can handle every fight. So this first fight this could be a mistake. But I'm gonna use my rank 3 Iron Man. I just wanna see how he can handle this fight. His Iron Man has a crap ton of utility, but I don't really like use them ever, so I don't know. Let's just see. I'm pretty much just gonna be heavy attacking. Because, you know. We need to keep this heal block up. Oh yeah, the heal block only trigger. Okay, well, the heavy attacks are so good just to knock him down. We can use real attacks in a moment, but oh, that's a riff. Yeah, I like never used um, the Iron Man, so I'm not like too used to like his range yet, or, like how far you can attack and stuff. Yeah, he just doesn't. I mean, he just doesn't do that much damage. Mine though is only rank three, to be fair. Like, maybe I would rank him up. If I had mine at a higher rank, I don't know. I really don't know. I can't really judge him until I rank him up to a fair rank, I guess, you know? I already lost my. Oh, yeah, I forgot how. I forgot how fast you can lose stuff on him, man. Whatever. Well, that was bad. Just from this fight alone, though, I can definitely see why people like him. Just the ability to, like, heal block on heavy attacks. With, the, with such a long duration, it's really good utility. It's just, yeah. I mean, I also see why people don't like him at the same time because his damage and then the fact that he can keep this thing up. Um. Okay, we got the Plasma. I late. This is like my first time actually properly playing this guy. So if you're like an Iron Man god, you can tell me what to do differently in the comments. Or if there's a better way to play him. But this is just all I know how to do really. So yeah. But I need this guy to attack. Yeah, that plasma does go fast. I see what people are saying. That was a really good fight, you know. I don't give Iron Man enough credit, but he's I like him a little bit more just because of that fight, let's just put it that way. Um, yeah. I brought Corvus. Why did I bring Corvus again? Oh, yeah, because he's cosmic. Okay. Well, let's do this fight. I'm going to use Star Lord for like the next two fights just because, um, what's it called? Using Star just to save Captain America for that Mr. Sinister. I don't really know how it's going to work because I never really. You know, I've never, like, it's going to sound weird, but, like, I didn't even rank up, um,. Oh my god, I forgot which way to go. I'm so tired. I didn't rank up my Captain America Infinity War for his utility. Only because, like, when I ranked him up, I needed him for the champion boss in 6.3. Or 6.2. Because his crazy block proficiency is insane for, like, the final 10%. And then... And he was only, like... He was a really low sig when I, um, ranked him up. But, yeah. I definitely, like, I have... Doing this quest alone definitely like warmed me up to his like utility aspect. The fact that he can just petrify is like so useful. 
And like in this quest especially, it's been coming in clutch a lot, so. I definitely see what people like him. Let me just try to parry this. Alright, good. We get the armor break and the petrify. He's not max dupe level, but he's high enough where it's like, I feel like I can actually use him for his utility. He's at like 145 or something. So it's like 80%, which is like, if I have to use a few extra parries, and you know, I will, I don't really care too much. This quest was so much harder using Ghost. I was using Ghost in this, and it just wasn't working, because I couldn't out damage that Emma Frost. And like, the way her, um, I could out damage her, but it was so slight, and like, the way I was, um, oh yeah, I forgot I was playing Star Lord. The way Emma Frost is, um, shield um oscillate node was working with it. it was making her so defensive and it was really annoying we're gonna be using star lord now i haven't used star lord in like a minute and the last time i actually genuinely used star lord is due to my completion of labyrinth like when it first came out so it's been like a long time since i've properly used this guy oh yeah i didn't oh i should have pushed my special too that's annoying whatever let's just try to heavy attack only keep keep him away and knock down that shield the global node when it first came out i thought it was too crazy because i kept like mistiming it and then like they kept regenerating too much but like this node definitely isn't that hard when you get used to it i was looking through all my um paths i was gonna have to do in this and with medusa rank five and since i just pulled hyperion from a five star crystal i um i th i'm not too scared of them boss like and i just pulled the six star ghost i don't think the minute mr sinister boss is gonna be that hard but i could be wrong because i know ghost can one shot it but for ghost to one shot it it would be like really helpful if he's awakened and mine is not awakened so i don't know how hard that fight's gonna be but you know whatever i'm gonna try to knock him down and just try to finish him with the special too is that too ambitious? Okay. Whatever. Okay, that was way too ambitious anyway. Why is he not taking damage to shock? Oh yeah, I think this node has something to do with like damage over time buffs or debuffs or something like that, All right? Okay, that's cool. I got a fury in that last hit. That would have healed him back up. That's annoying. But he didn't heal up, so it's fine. Yeah. I thought this path was going to be a lot harder. I mean, I probably shouldn't have said that because I might jinx it. But. Okay, this guy has masochism and buffet. Um, okay. We'll use Star Lord. This fight might be more annoying than I thought it would be. Um, only because of the amount of regen. But we can make it work. To get our stuns, we just need to like double parry. I don't think anyone gives any regenning. But the. the. what's it called? What's the debuff one called? It's buffet and masochism. Masochism is only 5%, so we just need to get like a massive combo. This will trigger it, yeah. Oh, you know, I'm not damaging it a lot more than I thought it would, so it's cool. Okay, I practiced his special to in Labyrinth. Like, when I was first in with Aegon, I had to draw the special to like a hundred times. Let's see if I still got it. Oh, there you go. There's not much in this game more satisfying than dodging this guy's special to just because of how stupid it is. His special to, I don't know why. He's been in the game for so long. Yeah, like, it's just... Oh, I forgot about masochism. Oh, and then I'm with Star-Lord, so I have to ramp him back up. Yeah, this is annoying. Oh, I almost forgot about it again. That would have been really stupid. I don't know what I just did there, but it worked. I'm taking damage. Go for like one more special too. Oh, will this work? No, 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 he's so close. I need this to work. This has to line up. Please just die. 
Oh, over sand. That was so clutch. I didn't think I'd have to bring Star Lord into any serious content for a while, but he pulled his weight. Again, this is the fight that I was bringing in the whole synergy for. Well timed blocks against. Oh, I forgot about this node. Is this gonna be on me or him? Oh, I don't know who this is gonna be on. I'm very scared to see. Okay, I think it's on. Okay, I think I might be fine. I think if I. Okay, I was trying to wipe something off my screen and I just got bopped, but okay. It's going well. You just need like two petrifies. This is going really well. I'm enjoying this. God, I never thought I would have to use this guy for his utility. Which is weird to say out loud since he's such a utility god, but like. I rank this guy up and just does just more and more uses for him all the time. I just love him. I do not want to risk that. That is just so beautiful. Captain America. So good. You know, when I was starting this like quest then, I was thinking, like, can I explore 6.2, 6.3, 6.4 Suicide Dawn? Like, will it be too much? I was actually very much thinking about taking him off because like the only character I had was Ghost. I mean, not Ghost, Corvus Glaive. I was like, he's like the only character that I have that's like really superly benefiting from them. I mean, everyone else gets more damage, but like, I like to throw up specials without worrying. And then two things I thought about. One, I was like, well, as long as I don't use like one character and that's rely on everything, the suicide damage from recoil won't be enough to like really kill me if I play well. And then if I was still like, eh, I might take off suicides. And then I pulled the six star ghost. I'm like, okay, well, suicides are definitely gonna stay on now. <laughs> I have two god tier camp champions, both as six stars. Two of arguably two of some of the best characters in the game, and they both rely on suicides. So I'm like, yeah, you're staying on. I always, I'm like, whenever I block specials with Cap, I always try to like let go and then reclick block to try to get parries on all like the components of the hits. So Chris, I love Cap. He's just so good. I mean, this lane was like, if I can beat this guy right here, then I would have done all of this quest without spending any units except for like. Uh, what are they called? Like revo uh, not revo energy refills. Cause like there was a few paths I did off camera because they were just like really boring. Like the like the quest was like super easy. And I just didn't really think I wanted to record them. This path that I wanted to record because I thought it was like difficult in some sort of way. Like I'd use some kind of brain power to get through the fights, but like get using synergies and stuff with Captain America. Like that might be one of the first times I've ever had to like use brain power with Captain America. Normally I just bring him for the damage, I've never actually had to bring him for like the utility aspect. And glad to say, like, I see why people like him for like utility stuff. Like I always knew he was a utility god, but I've never actually tried it. Because I've never like had it used to. But yeah, damn, he he's a utility god. The petrifies are so much more ha handy than I thought they were gonna be. Like for this quest alone, he just I guess he'll get he'll break down the shield. And then if you have like a few petrifies on, they just won't even heal at all. And then you just gotta hit them like once in the block and they're dead. They don't all, they don't heal back 10% or whatever it is. It just is, I love it. Did I just one shot the Sim Supreme? Alright, that was easy. Archangel, he's a god. I haven't had to use him in a while, but I might rank 5 him, so we'll see. Well, all the guys enjoyed this video, we 100% of this first quest. Very up. We got 50 units. Does that form a new catalyst? Yeah, it does. And I get a and I get a tier two catalyst I think from the calendar today, don't I? Did I get it? Wait, did I already get it? Ah, whatever. Okay, so now if we look back, chapter two, we 100 the first quest. I think I'm gonna do the third one, um, the fourth quest, and then go back to the second one, and then the fifth and sixth, or do whatever order. But we finished the first quest, so if you guys enjoyed this video, give a like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.